guys, it's Danielle, and today is Monday, so I am here to do our marriage challenge Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's little marriage chat. If you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, then I suggest you go check that out. It correlates with today's marriage challenge. But before I jump into this week's marriage challenge, let me take a second and introduce myself to all of the newbies. My name is Danielle and I am the non-traditional mommy. I am married to my wonderful husband. This will be our 14th year of being married. We have 11 children together and we run a business together. I have a master's in marriage and family therapy as well as a life coaching certificate. And so on Mondays, I like to put those things to use and do a little marriage challenge, not only for you guys, but also for myself to help keep our marriages nice and and spicy so if you are interested in any of that please hit the subscribe button and join my little family for the rest of my non-traditional family you guys know you're the MVPs and I love you bunches thanks you guys for hanging in there with me alrighty guys so if you watched last week's marriage chat then you know what today's marriage challenge is going to be this is probably the most unique and different marriage challenge that I've done thus far. But this week's marriage challenge is going to be to put yourself first. Put yourself first. So you're probably thinking, how the heck is putting myself first going to help my marriage? It might hurt my marriage. Well, if you are a person that has been selfish throughout your entire marriage, then obviously this challenge is not for you because that is not what we're talking about any way, shape, form, or fashion. That's a whole different topic. What I am talking about this week, you guys, is to find time to carve out for yourself, for self-care. Do something for yourself that is going to reboot you, that's going to re-energize you, that's going to refuel your soul, that's going to refuel your spirit, that's going to put a smile on your face, that's going to make you happy and make you want to give to those in your life, including your spouse. So basically this week you just want to find some time, rather it's every day this week or just pick one day this week to carve out for yourself. Now, if this is going to be brand new in your marriage, I suggest that you take a second to sit your significant other down and explain to them, hey, this week's marriage challenge was putting myself first because hopefully they know you guys, you've been doing these marriage challenges, but let them know this week's marriage challenge was to put myself first and I'm going to be doing some things that may be out of the norm. And I don't want you to take it personal, but understand that I am doing some self care so that I can be my best self for you. So if you need to sit down and have that conversation, and again, you guys, these types of conversations open up a door of communication in your relationship that you may have not realized was closed or that needed to be communicated about. So having these types of conversations also helps improve the marriage. So basically you wanna have that conversation if you feel you need to give that disclosure. And then you want to think about some ways that you can self-care, some ways that you can carve out for yourself to take time and refuel your spirit, your soul, yourself, you know, just put a smile on your face, whatever that needs to look like, however that needs to be, um, and however long that needs to be. So if it's like an hour a day or you know, two, three hours at night or two, three hours in the morning or in the middle of the day, whatever it is, or just one day a week. However you need to do it, you guys, you want to find some time for yourself this week. And on the flip side of that, I would strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you to challenge your significant other to do the same. So if you found that they don't have any type of self-care regimen for themselves, to maybe extend that olive branch to them to do that, to find 
some type of self-care for themselves so i'll give you an example of how, what this looks like in my marriage my husband does crossfit if you guys don't know go check out my i want to crossfit with my husband's video you can check out his crossfit competition you can check out his road competitions oh anyway crossfit is his thing and that is how he provides himself with that self-care that time for himself that he's carved out for himself and whenever little things like that come up you know like the road competition or crossfit competition that he did he will a lot of times try to participate in those and those are just his ways of providing himself with that self-care for myself sundays tend to be my self-care day and i just did a recent video i haven't posted it yet on how i'm extending sunday even further to involve more self-care for myself um so sundays are a day that i will typically just relax i will stay in my robe i will spend time meditating prepping for my week i've now added doing facial masks and foot um spa treatments for myself and just really taking that time to reboot myself and re-energize myself youtube doing youtube videos believe it or not is my self-care for myself um having this outlet to be able to chat with you guys or to do videos just sharing my family or sharing a great product that i've found or unboxings things like that that is self-care for me and then editing the taking the time to edit the videos because i'm a very creative person um that provides self-care for me writing also provides self-care for me so taking time to just sit by myself and write and meditate that is also another way that i provide self-care for myself so these are just ways that are free and expensive that we provide self-care for ourselves so, so any way that you find is going to provide you some self-care that is what you want to do this week you want to be a little selfish in the positive spectrum there is a positive side of selfishness um so you want to be a little selfish and provide yourself with some self-care this week so that is this week's marriage challenge this week's marriage challenge is to put yourself first and provide yourself with some self-care alrighty guys if you have any questions about this marriage challenge or any other marriage challenge or anything marriage related or if you would like to do a chat or talk about something marriage related feel free to leave that below send me a DM on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram here's my Instagram go follow me y'all go follow me but anyway you guys Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.